Hey guys, my name is Adrian Zaw, and I'm the executive producer here at Zaw Studios. It all started when I was 12 years old. Uh, they had a career day at my middle school and doctors, lawyers, and uh, paramedics came to the studio and they talked about the career. And an actor came and the actor said, you get free food in his industry. Since then, I started taking acting classes, moved into speech and debate in high school, excelled at it because of the acting background, then uh, got rejected by USC three times, went to community college for theater, then transferred with a full ride to USC, hated it, really gut-wrenchingly, hated USC, the academic system, school. I did well, but I hated academia so much that I dropped out in 2006 and dove headfirst into the industry, volunteering, PAing, and getting into acting. And from there on, I really just kind of absorbed, worked, and put myself in everywhere until 2008, uh, where I jumped into stocks and lost everything. This was me hitting rock bottom and understanding that everyone needs to hit rock bottom, uh, go bankrupt, lose everything, to find their foundation and get grounded. When I found myself in the bottom, I realized that I was an actor and I suck as, an, as a human being because as an actor, you just know how to act. You don't have any tangible skills. So for the next two years, I realized that I needed to find some tangible skills. So I made this philosophy uh, for myself that I'm not too good for anything. There's nothing beneath it but the ground. And I started to uh, look for work in every single aspect of life that I could get my hands on. I washed dishes, I learned photography to take some photos, I learned video editing. I was an actor, but I'm like, you know, I'm an actor, great, who cares? I need to have tangible skills. So I even went into firearms instruction to uh, learn how to shoot guns. So went back to USC for six months to learn law, Japanese, history, uh, political science, just to learn, not the degree, because school sucks, I hate SE. Um, academia, not just the school. Then went back into producing and acting again, full force. And I realized as a producer, uh, there wasn't any resources available for me. There was a support group. There wasn't an entity that could help me. I had some wonderful mentors and I realized that there was one studio, it was just way too expensive. You know, I wasn't big enough. I wasn't a somebody. And because I couldn't afford this person or the studio, I realized, wow, you know what? I can't afford them. So there must be a need for someone like myself. So because I couldn't afford to rent any studios, I decided to build my own studio. And I couldn't find a good name, so I just named it Zaw Studios to embody everything that I believed in. And that was the beginning story of Zaw Studios and the creation of a studio out of necessity. It was made more of a bridge to network and meet other filmmakers like myself. And so what I decided to do was, instead of having standard rates that were very high, I, I subsidized it. You know, it's kind of like fixed pricing, but I subsidized it to keep prices low instead of keep prices high, rental locations. So um, when I did that, I was able to work with a lot of up and coming filmmakers that just needed a location to get their start. Um, Kickstarter videos were filmed here that had tremendous success because they really didn't have a budget but because they have some place that they can shoot, now they can accomplish their dreams. And that really is uh, me realizing why I built the studio. It was to connect with amazing people with a good heart and on the side build this internal team that was similar to myself and to replicate me in everything that I do. You know, when I, because I did photos, I wanted photo division. Because I did video, I wanted video division, animation division. Um, and so it expands from there in multiplying myself and offering jobs, opportunity, growth, and success in that true collaborative spirit. Usually I come in at 10.30 and Adrian gives me some of the clips that he's collected over the week and he lets me do whatever I want with it as terms of editing. He gives you a lot of hands-on work so what you get to do is just experiment and enjoy and get creative. I feel that um, every day working with him is just a different new experience. He's always teaching me new things and teaching me uh, the right way to do things as well and I feel just very welcome about that. Pride doesn't take you places but going places gives you pride. And I would rather get pride from going places and helping people than having some sort of pride and entitlement that that is supposed to take me places. And so that is where I feel this career of leadership, of teaching people, of growing people, of, of providing resources for filmmakers and, and making dreams come true is perfect. 
for me. It's been a year, it's been a tremendous, exciting year working uh, and building the, the studio and we're halfway there. In the next month and a half, our company is gonna double its size in space. What I like to see Zoss Studios go is, is just this constant growth of, of, a, of an entity, a non-exclusive entity. Basically do what we're doing now, but bigger. Do the projects that we're doing now, uh, but on a, a larger scale, on a wider scale. Train more people, work with more people, and help more people out. Taking this word out of your daily vocabulary will help you be great. And this word that you really need to work hard on to take out of your daily vocabulary is the word can't. If you take the word can't out of your daily vocabulary, whether it's something you want, whether it's something you want to do, whether it's someone you want to be, if you take that word can't out and replace it with how can I, your life is going to change. If you think, say for example, you wanted something, something as arbitrary as an iPad or a camera, and you're just like, you know, I can't afford it. Take that word can't and replace it with how can I afford it. You're, you're, gonna, you're gonna start to train your mind to start working because your mind loves to solve problems. That's just how we're wired. And if you start to say, how can I find a job I love? How can I do what I love? How can I afford an iPad? How can I open a corporation, run a studio? How can I afford $5,000 in rent and still manage to pay people well and feed people and clothe people. How can I? Your mind will do magical things to find all the possibilities in the world of infinite possibilities to make it possible. For the first year, you really have to operate at a loss and that means taking money out of pocket to pay for the studio overhead. And you're really never gonna make money um, from the studio until you get to a point where the studio could sustain itself. Building the set, for example, has been an amazing accomplishment for the studio because we were able to help Bradford Hill, an up and coming filmmaker, just get a start. And that, for me, was one of the proudest moments because he didn't have a big name. He needed help. He, he didn't have quite the, the biggest Kickstarter or Indiegogo uh, fundraiser going. So for me to reach out and say, you know what, I can be useful to you and I can help you and let's see your project go from idea, concept, to production, to completion has been one of the proudest moments here at the studio. For anyone who wants to be an actor, uh, be a filmmaker, uh, own your own studio, uh, my greatest advice is don't. Unless <laughs> it's something that you would do and you don't care about the money. You gotta wanna do things regardless of how much it pays. You gotta wanna work, not for the money, but because you love it. Without passion, there's nothing. The thing is, if you chase money, money will constantly outrun you. But if you chase passion, money will chase you down like no other. If you want to be successful as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. If all of it was gone and taken away and you failed and you floundered and you hit the ground so hard, you're hurting for days and weeks and months, but you're okay because you could build it up again, that's when you know you've made it. If you want success as bad as you want to breathe, you will not have any excuses to not succeed. You will do something every single day that pushes you towards your passion, towards your career. You don't care what party you're going to, who you're dating, nothing. You just want to get there as bad as you want to breathe. And that was the secret to success that I wanted to share with you guys to be great. This is Adrian Zah, executive producer here at Zah Studios, asking you, what are you doing to be great? Comment below to let us know. Thank you.